wait a second, October, that's kind of a big month. It's a big month for our family for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's my anniversary and our first child, our daughter was born in early October. Our son was born in the end of October. Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is quite the celebration episode. This is the three-year anniversary of the Seek Go Create. It started podcast. Now we're on YouTube and other social channels. And so we're excited about this. You know, it kind of snuck up on me. We were uh, planning ahead a little bit, looking at what we wanted to do for this episode, which releases in October of 2022, uh, the first episode, the month of October. And we started looking at it and go, wait a second, October, that's kind of a big month. It's a big month for our family for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's my anniversary and our first child, our daughter was born in early October. Our son was born in the end of October. And now it is the anniversary of Seek, Go, Create. So I want to welcome you. If you have never connected with Seek, Go, Create and you're just coming in or you've been checking us out a little bit. This is a great episode for you because in just a moment, I'm going to tell you kind of where to start, maybe where to play catch up, go to a few episodes and kind of check those out. So I'll get to that in just a moment, but uh, I'm also going to go over a few stats, just cover a few things that we've seen over the last three, year, three years. And then I'm also going to, I've got three things that I've learned, three learning points about our podcast that I'm going to share as we wrap up. And I think there are three cool things for any project that you're running is if it's a business or anything else that you're starting. So we'll get to that in just a moment, but I, I just want to welcome everyone. And I do not want to let this moment go by without saying how honored I am, how humbled I am, how proud I am all at the same time of what we've been able to do here at Seek Go Create. It has been such a fun journey. And I'll get into a little bit more of the learning points in just a second. But, uh, but anyway, it's just, it's just so cool that we're now three years in. And what a three years we've had for those that um, have been alive <laughs> and doing things over the last three years. We started in October of 2019, and we've seen a lot of stuff go on with uh, the political world, pandemics, all types of stuff has happened over the last few years. And we've been clicking along with at least one episode every week, sometimes a few episodes. And, uh, and it's just been so much fun, so much fun. So I do want to do this, though, before I kind of get any further, if you are just now coming in and, and joining some things we're doing at Seat Go Create, I want to give you a few places to start to play a little catch up. I'm the host. I'm Tim Winders. And if you're watching this or if you're listening to it, I am in the passenger seat of my motor coach, my RV. And that is where this podcast started three years ago, was from this passenger seat. It's been kind of a studio. It's my office. And that kind of makes it a little bit interesting, a little bit cool. We talk about redefining success here. We do a lot of things in leadership, business, and ministry. But I think you need a little bit of background if you're joining us. I think you need to know where we came up with the title, Seek, Go, Create. Way back in January of 2020, I'll get you the exact date here, January 20th of 2020, I did an episode where I talked about, it's really what we call the origin story of Seek, Go, Create. I talked a little bit about my background and a lot of things that went on. I'll just go ahead and give you a little glimpse. We had some companies in 08 in real estate, and by 2013, we were homeless, <laughs> bankrupt, and we're living out of a Honda van. And so I talk a little bit about that, and we're doing well now. We're traveling and living in our RV, and, and a lot of cool stuff's going on. But I talk about the origin story of where the words and the title Seek, Go, Create came from. I think it'll be a cool episode to go listen to maybe first before you catch up on some of the other episodes. So that was January 20th, 2020, The Origin Story. Another episode that I think will really be helpful for you was our 100th episode uh, anniversary, our 100th episode of the show that we celebrated. That released May 3rd of 2021. 
And one of the things that we do, we have a number of solo episodes, but I love doing long form interviews here and talking to people that are in areas of leadership and business and ministry. And at the end of every episode, I ask a question. I say that we are seek, go, create, and I give the guest one of those words over the other two, which one resonates with them or means the most to them, seek, go, or create. And so one of the things we did on this 100th episode, we had a celebration, talked about a number of things, but uh, my son, JK, who does the engineering and editing and really makes a lot of this stuff sound good, he actually took and compiled up to that point a lot of the responses and mash them together into a segment that was phenomenal. So if you want to hear the essence or the flavor or a lot of what we stand for here, go listen to that 100th episode and listen to that compilation that my son JK did to put all of those answers together from guests. It was phenomenal. Again, that was May 3rd, 2021. We'll have links if you're checking this out on the podcast channels or on, uh, or on our website that you can go and click on these episodes to check them out. And then I want to mention one other thing. People ask me all the time, what is your favorite episode? What is the episode that, that I need to go listen to? And that's pretty darn tough because we're 175 episodes in. And I'll tell you, it's kind of like when someone asks, who's your favorite child or something like that you 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 can't really answer and sometimes you don't want to they have all been so nourishing to me and enjoyable to me and i think they've all served a purpose in various capacities with the message that was that, that came across or the conversation that was had or 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 whatever it was and so they've all been incredible however there is an underlying theme to seek go create and that is when I went back at around that time and looked backwards at all the episodes we've done, it seemed as if almost every episode had this theme of redefining success. Someone had success in their mind, something that they thought it was, but situations, life, mistakes that they made, something happened that was a catalyst that caused them to redefine what success was. So redefining success is kind of in our ethos. It's really what we're all about. And there are two episodes, we'll put links down in the notes that I think say this as well, if not better than any other episode we've done. And it's really interesting that both of these interviews, the person I interviewed spent time in prison. Now, we don't look for people that spend time in prison, but it's really interesting if we look in our culture, society, our world at some people that may be at their lowest point and are being forced to redefine what success means to them. I think being in prison might be a good example of that. So on November 23rd, 2020, 2020 an episode released with Quan Hun, and he had written a book. He had spent time in prison. I don't remember exactly how long it was at this point, but go listen to the episode. He had actually murdered someone. He was in a gang. He and his family had come over from, from Vietnam and, and, and listen, he had ended up doing well, but he was still involved with gang stuff and just made a big mistake. And it was one of the most um, humbling uh, emotional, incredible interviews I have ever done. There's one moment during that episode that to me might be one of my top moments of everything we've done at Seat Go Create. I won't spoil it here, but uh, go listen to that episode and get a real flavor for the redefining success message that we like to share at Seat Go Create. Again, that was November 23rd, 2020. And we'll put some links down in the notes if you're able to check that out on the website or in your podcast player. Now, another one that was phenomenal was with a gentleman by the name of Mark Whitaker. And that episode released on February 14th of 2022. And Mark Whitaker, you may know who he is, but you may not know his name. He spent time in prison also, and they actually did a movie about his story, and Matt Damon played 
the part of Mark Whitaker. The movie released, I think it was in 2009, and the movie was called The Informant, and Mark Whitaker was the guy that the story was based off of. Mark Whitaker worked for Archer Daniels Midland back in, uh, I think, the late 80s, early 90s, and he was involved with insider trading, with a lot of things that were going on, and he ended up being an informant for the FBI. And, uh, and also there was some embezzling, anyway, a lot of stuff that went on, go listen to the episode, went to prison. And it was such a great conversation that we had about redefining success. And a few moments that we had where Mark and I recognized that both of us had been through similar mental journeys and recognized some of the addictions we had to just more and how it led to some of the challenges that both of us had gone through. So go listen to that episode released again, February 14th, 2022, Mark Whitaker, those two episodes, and there's many others to go listen to. Go listen to all of them if you haven't, but those two episodes really show how we are about redefining success. So if you're just getting started, go listen to those episodes. I think that's a great starting point for you to really catch up on what we're doing here at Seek, Go, Create. I do want to mention also where to connect with us because three years in, we started with a podcast. We did a little bit on social media at the time. We started with a little bit of a website that was okay. It had some notes and things like that. But now three years in, we are very active on Instagram. I do short videos and discuss a lot of the topics that, that relate to our podcast and episodes and things that we go over there. I'm pretty active on TikTok and uh, kind of love the short form video there. We kind of put some of the same things up there. And uh, we now are very, very active and growing fast on YouTube. So if you love YouTube and love consuming content there, go to YouTube. We are Seek Go Create at all of these places on Instagram, on TikTok, on, on YouTube. We're Seek Go Create. And one of the cool things that we do on YouTube is that you're able to see the full interviews, the 45 to 60 minutes that we do with our episodes. You can see the full thing there. But we also try to take a three to five minute clip so that you can digest it in a short form and just get a flavor of the interview or the guest and see if it's something that you want to check out the longer episode. So YouTube's a great place to go. We're also putting short videos up there also, just like we're doing on TikTok and on Instagram. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Facebook and we are on Twitter. Not as active in those places, but we do have a presence there. So you could check things out there. In fact, we typically do a behind the scenes of our Seek Go Create interviews and our podcast on our Facebook page, which is also Seek Go Create. So if you're uh, following us there on Facebook and uh, click to get a notification when we go live with our behind the scenes episodes, then, uh, then that's a good spot where you could get the content and you can get, get it a little more raw, maybe unedited there and maybe engage with us there. So those are all of the places that we are now. But one of the things that I really love, and if you haven't checked it out, make sure that you do this. On our website, seekgocreate.com, we have a, an awesome website now. We have someone transcribe all of our episodes and they put it in outline form. In other words, it's not a pure transcription. They take the highlights and they put it with all the links, everything that I've mentioned so far, the episodes, they'll be there. And you can go there and check out the links. If there's any resources or additional training or other things that you need to check out, episodes or things like that, then, uh, then the website is a great place to go to get more detailed notes. And another thing that's really cool is that if there's a portion of the podcast that you really want to go back to, maybe a timestamp 20 minutes in, you can go there, click on that, and it'll automatically take you to that section of the podcast to listen in, listen again, and uh, take some notes or something like that if you choose to. So we've got a lot of things going on. I'm so proud of all that our team has done to get us in all of those places. And we've got people literally all over the, over the world helping do those things that we're doing at Seek Go Create. And then one other thing I want to mention there, if you go to that, uh, that area, uh, go to our website at Seek Go Create, scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a place where you can put your email address, give us your best email address, 
And about once a week, sometimes I skip, but usually once a week, I'll share something typically as we're out on the road traveling. And it might be about the most recent episode or just something that I'm studying or some resources that I believe are valuable that might help you in the areas that we that we focus in leadership, business, ministry, or just general things that are going on. So make sure you go join up and that we've got your episode so that you can be part of what we're doing with the Seat Go Create community. A few stats that I just want to share with you because this just kind of blows me away. We've got, you know, thousands and thousands of downloads. We've got incredible numbers of unique listeners. But the thing that was so cool, I checked right before I jumped on here. Seat Go Create has been listened to via our podcast. I don't know about YouTube and some other places, but the podcast in 82 countries. And that just is so amazing to me that three years ago, I sat down in this seat in the, in the passenger seat of my RV, flipped on, started recording. And a few years later, three years later now, we've had people in 82 countries. I am so excited about that. And regardless of where you're listening in, in from, I just want to welcome you and just let you know how thankful that I am for you and all that you're doing to just be part of what we're doing here at Seat Go Create. People ask me all the time, what's your most popular episode? And, and it's kind of weird with the way podcast numbers work. Some episodes do extremely well, some do well. And uh, I'll just say that the one year anniversary episode, our one year anniversary has had right at 5,000 downloads. And I don't really know what it is about that episode, but it just went bonkers and did real well. And, and uh, others are close to that one, but that one year episode, one year anniversary episode is the one that's really gotten the most downloads. So uh, that is our number one most downloaded episode. So anyway, again, we are just having so much fun with things. The thing that I want to do now is just talk about some lessons that I've learned during this podcast casting journey. And I do think these lessons, so if you're listening in, you're going, well, I don't, I'm not planning on doing a podcast, but these are good lessons for business projects, something that you may be thinking about doing. I actually think they're valuable. So three big lessons that I've learned over the last three years, the number one thing, and I think this is valuable in so many areas, and that is number one, just get started. And I think back to where I was mentally and some things that were going on. My wife and I, Glory and I had been traveling in our RV for right around uh, 10 months when we started the podcast. We were on the coast of Oregon. I was, the, the RV was pulled up to Coos Bay in Oregon. And I'd been working with a business client. I'm a strategic coach for leaders. And so I was working with a client and I was actually helping them with a podcast. And because I'm a big podcast fan, I've been listening to podcasts for a long time and I was helping them with the interview and doing some things. And I had somebody pretty strongly say, Tim, you need to start a podcast. You're really good at doing interviews. You're, you're really good on the microphone. You should start a podcast. And maybe because some of the things we've done in the past in business and some other things like that, I was just kind of like kind of shying away from it. But I, I talked to some other people and was encouraged by my wife and some others in our family. So I said, okay, let's get started. Got a microphone, got a little bit of a, a setup here in the passenger seat of the RV and with uh, the water of Coos Bay, just a few feet off from the front of the RV, I pushed record and with a shaky voice started that first episode, which was the title of it was Homeless and Bankrupt. And it was me going through the story of our business journey that was in 08 that led to us in 2013. That was what season one was all about. And uh, that was how we got started. And so it wasn't perfect. The sound was interesting. Someone in an early episode, I think it was my daughter, said, you know what? I could hear mom breathing in the back of the RV. So the microphone I had was picking up everything. And anyway, the, the quality's still okay, but it wasn't perfect. And a lot of things we did were not perfect. But if you've got a project, if there's something that you feel like you should do, you've been nudged, you've been encouraged, people are telling you to do it, just get started just get started. I mean, because we've, we've, we just got started 
And now we are three years later and 175 episodes in and people listening in 82 countries. And wow, I'm just blown away by that. So just getting started is my number one lesson that I've learned. So don't delay, get started. Second big lesson, and it kind of relates to that, but it's a little bit of a secondary thing. And that is be consistent, be consistent. And in podcast world, there's this, there's this thing they talk about is, you know, people get started, but then they start, you know, being inconsistent. They were releasing an episode every week and then they do it every month, or maybe they take time off and there's nothing wrong with seasons and things like that. But if you go to podcast players and search, I did it earlier today. I kind of had an idea for another podcast and I went and searched and sure enough, there was a podcast out there for this topic. And way back in 2017, they did two episodes and then quit. I guess they quit. I don't know what happened, but they did two episodes. So, so be consistent. And another thing, and this is for a lot of things that we do, starting businesses or projects and things like podcasts, YouTube channels, things like that. Don't really be super concerned about the results. Get consistent and get excited about the activity and doing the work. And one of the things that I just told myself, I committed to when we got started was that I wasn't going to look at a lot of the metrics. And I'm a numbers guy. I love numbers. I'm an engineer by training. I love looking at data. But I just said, I'm going to start recording, start doing what I think has value, and just put it out into the world. And I'm going to be consistent. And I'm real proud to say that every Monday for the last three years, we've had an episode, a new episode. And some weeks, we've done extra episodes. So we've done more than just an episode per week. And it's been very consistent. And I'm so proud of that. Our team has done a great job. And, uh, you know, I've had to jump on the mic and, and interview people and all that. But to me, that's some of the easy stuff. I love doing that. But, uh, but be consistent. Don't, don't check results. We've had results that have been through the roof at times, and, and it's been up and down. And, and, uh, and, and if I had looked at that at times, you know what? I may have gotten discouraged, but what I get excited about is the consistency of the effort. And I've learned that with other projects, you know, I've recently written a novel and it's kind of the same way. I don't really need to look at a lot of the results. I just need to be excited about being consistent about putting forth the effort and trying to get a good quality product out into the world. So get started. Number one, number two, be consistent and don't be as concerned about the results. The third big lesson that I've learned along this podcasting journey, and I don't know how to word this other than say, people are awesome. There are so many incredible, talented people that I have loved engaging with and in talking with and talking to for the last three years. We have done, we've had 175 episodes. We have done 115 of those have been interviews. The other 60 have been solo episodes, either me or some people that I've turned the microphone over to do solo episodes. So some of those 115, I'm guessing maybe 15 of them. I, I didn't do a count, maybe 15 of them. I knew before I started the podcast, but a hundred plus I never would have known, probably never would have met were it not for this microphone and this podcast. And that to me is so incredible. I am generally a really curious person. So if you're curious and love asking questions and finding out things from people that maybe other people haven't asked, this is a good spot for you to hang out at Seek Go Create because I love asking questions and getting to know people. And here's what's really cool about the interviews that we do is that it's focused. There's no distractions. When people jump on either an author or a leader or someone, <laughs> I, I interviewed a group of college students that had started a dating app out of their dorm room. So I interviewed those folks. And then I've interviewed an heiress that uh, is, is uh, from generations that have started, um, she was married into a family that's very wealthy in the food industry, and she's third generation of a family that has a very large hotel chain. 
And um, anyway, so college kids up to, you know, she was, she's, um, she's a little bit older. And so, and everything in between, we've interviewed people that have sold 500 million books and a lot of authors. So all of these people, I never would have met them and had the conversation, the one hour conversation or whatever it was, were it not for the, this podcast. And I am so thankful for that. So I just love, love asking those questions and having those focused conversations. Some other areas that I, I think people are awesome. I've already mentioned some of the team that we have. I have learned some people on our, in our family are so incredible with their talent and skills. My, my son and my daughter and my wife is phenomenal. She does incredible things, but we've got people on our team and uh, over in Vietnam and Pakistan and in other parts of the world that are helping us do what we're doing here at Seek Go Create. And it's just another area of category of people are awesome. And then I've also been able to connect with these interesting groups of other podcasters. I'm part of uh, the Christian Podcasters Association because I'm a follower of Christ. And we talk about some ministry things. That's not all we talk about here. And, and man, it's just a great group of people. There are a great group of people out there that are attempting to get messages out and share information, share content via podcasting. And to me, it's just, just such a joy to be connected and contact those type people. So anyway, people are awesome. Regardless of what you hear in the media, regardless of what you see out in the, in the world, there are so many incredible people out there. And you know what? Part of the awesomeness are people like you that are just listening in, our listeners. And I was going to go through and read some of the uh, reviews and comments, but man, they're, they're so encouraging and uplifting. You are awesome for listening in and helping Seek Go Create go out to the 82 countries and all the people that are listening in and you share it and you engage with us. And so anyway, so the third big lesson that I am so thankful to be reminded of is that people are awesome. People like you, people like the people we interview, people that are on our team and other podcasters out there are awesome. So my big lessons, and, uh, and I think they're good for other things. Get started, be consistent, and remember that people are awesome. And I just want to remind everyone that uh, three years in, I am humbled by all that's gone on. I am so thankful for everything that's happened here at Seek Go Create. We're continuing on. We've got some cool interviews that are coming up, some great things that are happening. There's a few things that we might adjust as far as some formatting. My wife and I have been discussing being more involved together with some things, and we're considering, are we going to do that with Seek Go Create or with uh, SGC Media, which is our parent company that's doing a lot of our media, will we possibly start another podcast? We're considering things like that. So stay tuned. If you're just joining us, welcome. Get started with some of the resources I gave you at the beginning of this episode. If you've been with us for three years, thank you for being with us for all of this time. I appreciate you, and I'm so thankful that you're here. Episodes drop every Monday. Thanks for joining us on this anniversary celebration until next time continue being all that you were created to be